Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do Sunday. Sunday fun day. Let's hope it's Sunday fun day. Or it's just whatever it is. I'm bad alive. Ooh, ooh. That song that's been in my head since yesterday. Is there doubt? I don't know. I just heard it a lot. Yesterday when I was out and about. So I don't know if you guys got some doubt or what, but Sunday vibes, the 21st. Happy summer solstice. Happy summer solstice. And happy Father's Day for all my dads out there. Look at the sun, the two of pens, page of pens. So you're juggling something. You could be in Leo propensity. You could be a Leo. You could just be wanting clarity when it comes to something. Um, not getting it because you're still juggling, trying to gain balance. It looks like you guys are starting a new project or a new commitment. To me, it looks like work. You got the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So like you're torn either with work or commitment where to put your time, your energy, because you're juggling thoughts. To me, you're searching for clarity regarding something that really wanted to come out, that five of swords. <clears throat> and then we got the magician and the fool, okay? So, like I said, this is either some type of creative idea or... Some of you are on a brand new journey, which is nice and refreshing. Um, but it, you, you're gonna have to take, you're gonna have to take a risk. So you kind of look all over the place. To me, you, you is, you're starting something new, and this energy can be a, a bit difficult but I'm not really seeing that much of a dif difficult situation maybe a little tricky because it's it's risky you have to take a risk it's like oh do I do it or not and when you take a risk it involves change and all sorts of stuff right tell me about this um could be starting a new job majority of the world is trying to go back to work it could just be you getting your feet on the ground again um, you got the high ref and the seven of cups. So there's a little confusion. It, it could be regarding a relationship. It could be regarding a spiritual situation. Um, to me, juggling ideas, thoughts, there apparently can be some confusion. You know, are you in a relationship already? Are you not? Would you rather stay single? Reviewing your options, keeping your options open. Could be a Leo involved. You got the Knight of Cups. So I don't know if you met somebody new. You're still dealing with the past. Or you got somebody in your life currently and you're like, ah, oh, shit. Looks like you're juggling a relationship. Juggling, like, what's next? Unless you're dealing with a Taurus who's just in a, seeing something possibilities, new attitude, new energy. Tell me about the tool pens. You got the Queen of Swords. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's somebody else here. Whether it's a friend, a lover, there's, there's three people in an energy right here. To me, somebody's already in a commitment, married, possibly. There's some juggling. Maybe you're trying to fix something and there's, there's something new here or you're trying to create something with someone new. I don't know whose energy this is. Tell me about the Page of Pants. Okay. Ace of Wands. So to me, that's a new creative idea. There's something creative happening with some of you. So you could be this person coming in as the Queen of Wands going in that direction. Could be down with the Cancer. Um, got the Eight of Swords there too. With the page of wands, someone might be com struggling communicating.
some of you this is straight up spiritual and some of you there's there's somebody else here third party it doesn't mean everyone's sleeping with everybody it just means there's just somebody there tell me about the magician knight of swords wanted to come out tell me about the magician five of cups five of pence you got temperance at the bottom of the deck with the star two of swords king of cups okay so Temperance is reverse. Somebody might be getting impatient. Um, or feels lonely or it's in a very uncomfortable situation. Somebody might have to leave someone out in order to have a new start. That could be tough. Tell me about the five of pence. To me, you already started something with someone, whether it's work or not. Yeah, so someone's not getting, got the seven of swords. So there's something, you know, there's deception somewhere. This is like breadcrumbs. Like, you, you're only getting so much um, from a situation. Maybe someone's starting to realize they need to give more. Yeah, seven of pens. They're trying to figure out where to invest. It's like it's, it's stalemate energy. The lovers, queen of wands. Yeah, so it's like in order for someone to have a new start here and give it a go, um, somebody gets left out. Somebody, you know, needs to be X'd out of the equation. So this could be going down today. I, f I feel like more or less like they're confused on how to do it. Like their approach. Some could be starting this process today. Tell me about the fool and others within next week or so, five days, something like that. Because you got the, it's just major kind of sitting on major. It's the universe, something's in their hands too. Um, there's a new opportunity. I keep seeing the damn four cups. You got the hermit. So somebody's not talking about this new stat. You could be dealing with an Aries. But. Or somebody's really soul searching, or somebody's again. There's that reflection, soul searching, a brand new spiritual journey. Could be just de dealing with the Virgo, but um, somebody needs to isolate themselves from a certain scenario for sure. Somebody who is really quiet might start opening up regarding some new path idea. Tell me about the hermit. Wait too many. Tell me about the hermit. <clears throat> King of Swords. So they definitely got feelings. Okay. They, Justice. I don't know if you, Queen of Wands. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's married. It looks like it. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. I mean, I don't see, like, 
I see like somebody wants a new exciting start, you know, ten of wands. So it's like someone needs to lay the weight down or talk to this energy, do something, right? Because the Knight of Cups. So again, someone's got feelings for someone elsewhere. Tell me about that. Ten of Swords really wanted to come out. So there's there's a lot of energy here of somebody holding on to something that's just like no longer good for them. Maybe they're starting to realize that, starting to see it. Um, tell me about this page of pens. To me, it's a new creative idea that you're in the process of managing, thinking through work, love, however it works. Because the energy kind of splits. Page of Pentacles. So there's not an even give and take here. Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like the masculine energy is really trying to to move forward, offer something. It's the slowest night in the deck, okay? But I don't know if it's gonna happen right now or not. They're all up in their head still. Do I have this conversation or not? Because the Page of Wands keeps coming into play. So I want one card with what's actually happening because there's a lot of underlines energy. want to get one clear overlook because there's something it's like this energy is kind of all over the place what's actually happening got the queen of cups what's actually happening clearly so we can see So I don't know if you have a female here, Cancer or not, um, or it's just you're in the Cancer energy. It's like freaking tired, but don't don't give up mode. Okay, um, it could be. Hi, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Got the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Someone told them back. Um, Jade's gonna text me. I don't think for a few hours. I'm gonna make breakfast. Okay, come see me when you're done. I should be done by then. <sighs> so there's two women here. And the Nine of Wands is like not giving up. So you might have two energies here. Both women don't want to give up. Both women want to keep standing strong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But it could be in, in multiple things. It doesn't have to be necessarily fighting for the same person. Um, King of Swords, King of Pents. Six of Pents. You got a masculine going back and forth. Definitely trying to balance two women. It's almost like they don't know which one to fight for. The fool's at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants a new stat, but I don't know who who that's with. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. I mean, Nine of Wands. It's the Five of Cups. So somebody's still thinking of the past, but it looks like there's a new situationship where there's a new love in town or whatever, but like there's heartbreak. So somebody gets hurt. So there's still some pain here. So someone's past and someone's future. So you still have an energy that's still fighting to figure out what they want. 
I mean, clearly there's a brand new connection with the Two of Cups. Clearly one of these women are from the past. Considering the Empress is out and we have the Hierophant, somebody's probably married, hasn't gotten quite out of the marriage officially, or figured out whatever's going on, whether they were separated or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, someone's still struggling. This masculine is still struggling because it's like their past is right in front of them. But there's a brand new connection here too. It's like they, they see it, but they don't want to see it. They see it or they know it, but it's like it's, it's so hard right this second. You know? Um, so, man, somebody needs to be X'd out of the picture some way, somehow. It looks like that's what's happening. It, this does not happen overnight. You know, um... So, let's see how he's looking at the Queen of Cups. Because this is two different energies. You know, as a, a magician, as I can see something here, but it's, it's also having to talk about it. Strength, strong. Someone looks as the Queen of Cups is strong and creative and, you know, has all the tools to create. It, it looks nice. It's a one, right? Let's see how this person looks at the Empress. As the Queen of Pence, so somebody who's nurturing, you know, possibly works hard, could be a mom. Everyone could be a mom. At the bottom of the deck here, you got the Five of of Pence, right? So it looks like that the wife, whomever this one is, because she was under the deck here too, when under the Empress, when I when I looked under the deck. So it looks like this is the one that's either going to be left out of a situation or, you know, are they worried about their finances? That's a lot of money if there's some type of proceeding. But to me, it's, man, someone's got themselves in quite a pickle. I, I think everybody does. So this one's sad knowing that, the masculine's sad knowing that you know, this one's over or, you know, has to leave this one out of a scenario. But looking at the Queen of Cups type energy as something new and refreshing and creative and, and there's longevity. There's a lot of things there. I'm really sorry you guys, some of you are in this position. Because it's like, here you are, fresh. It's like they know it, but they're still focused on the past, guys. So I don't know what you're going to do. I, I don't see anybody necessarily walking away, arguing, fighting, nothing, right? It's just, this still needs to be taken care of. And again, it's not something that happens overnight. Um, just one card, one message. Got the Empress, the Lovers, Confused. Yeah, like we're not getting anywhere here. So, take care of yourself, yeah, especially mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, I can't really read those cards or that message, those messages any other way. It, it seems to be the current dynamic, whether it's a lover, whether it's you're dealing with this with the best friend, your kids, it, it's, it's still in the process. It doesn't look like anyone's being left out. At, well, everyone's kind of being left out of the scenario because someone's still stuck. So. Let's find out what's next. After, because moves need to be made there. There's, what's next? What's in the next couple days for this scenario? 
I'm trying to place it within the moon in Cancer, but I don't remember exactly. Okay, so the death card. So there's, there's a rebirth, there's an ending. Okay, there's an ending to something. And then there's going to be a rebirth, a transformation. Okay. Um, so that's, that's positive, whether it's you or with them. And I hate to say it that way, but regardless, it's, it's positive because being a third person or whatever the scenario is, it's, it's not good. So even if something doesn't go in your favor and you're the other person, you're still better off with this card, to be honest with you, because this could be transforming you guys' relationship, this could be the end of something else, or they can, it's the end of yours and they can transform how, you know what I'm saying? Because no one wants to sit in all that energy we just saw. So there's an ending. Um, approaching. And I'd say you got the seven of pence at the bottom of the deck trying to figure out where, where they really want to invest. And it looks like, um, you got the ten of pence, three of pence, two of swords, decisions going to be, going to be made. So to me, it's like, could be in the next four days. Could be in the next nine days. You know, there's this clearly an ending, whether it's you or them. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I, I mean, I, I like that card. Because to be monkey in the middle, it's just not cool for someone to be monkey in the middle, regardless of the scenario. It's, it's a tough situation. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that gives you a, a little bit of comfort, you know, because no, like I said, who wants to sit in the confusion or the what if, so, you know, so, all right, Troop Loops, I'll see you tomorrow, I love you.